Climate change is a complex phenomenon that continues to affect human health. In West Nile, the harsh weather conditions have left families at risk of starvation due to lack of firewood for cooking food. I know I will not be cutting them. Caroline Awachango, aged 31, is a resident of Messi Lower Village in Nebi District who has struggled to put food on the table, not because she lacks, but because of firewood. We are collecting it very far. At times you could go there in a quiet place where there's no home, there's no people. Something can even happen to you. But her family is one of the few lucky homesteads in the region that has survived the untold sufferings resulting from wood fuel shortage after acquiring biogas system from the Food and Agriculture Organization. When I was using the firewood, I was even fearing my children. I do, sometimes I can even chase them to go away because they can easily get burned. Prior to the acquisition of the biogas system, our Chango says her family of seven people would cut down at least four trees every month, a practice that has worsened the weather condition. We are now pruning the big ones, but those small ones, we have now used them. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, the dependency on wood biomass as a main source of energy in Uganda does not only escalate natural resource destruction, but also worsens social challenges. The climate change uh, issues and then cutting down trees can also create conflicts between refugee settlements and host communities. And that's also something that we want to address through this, through this uh, intervention. And this system which we have here, is six cubic meters. Now that system can prepare all the three meals. Uh, commonly in Uganda we have three main meals in a day. So it can be used to prepare meals for a household of up to nine members. Now where we have more members in a household, we installed bigger systems of up to nine cubic meters and those ones can prepare meals for up to 18 members in a household. The biogas has saved our chango and other residents from spending money on buying firewood. At first I was using three, let me say five trees in a month. When I'm cooking I could get tired because the type of firewood they use does not even light for long. And now I am not even, I'm not even buying firewood the smoke which comes from firewood, which my grandmother and my mother also used to inhale, is really a dangerous one. We shall go out and see there inside. My grandmother now, who is 80 years, has been smoking unknowing. But we can use any uh, from pigale, from poultry, and also other household wastes. For example, if someone harvests crops and uh, there are some which cannot make it to the market, which would otherwise be left to rot, all this material can be fed into this biogas system. But besides using biogas as a smart cooking conduit, rural women are championing it as an environmental conservation measure. In the five-year project plan, the Food and Agriculture Organization, through the Climate Resilient Livelihood Opportunities for Women Economic Empowerment Project, is setting up 200 flexi biogas systems to increase the use of biogas in the 12 districts of West Nile and Karamoja. Alex Mugasha, Julius Kitone, NBS, Live at Nine.